Today we'll look at a new and very cool feature in Excel 2013 called Quick Analysis that lets you access data analysis tools easily. Microsoft implemented Quick Analysis because their product research showed that many Excel users were simply not aware of the data analysis tools that Excel has to offer. Furthermore, even users who were aware of Excel's data analysis tools were often hesitant to create charts or pivot tables because they were afraid that they would not be able to change them later. The Quick Analysis tool puts data analysis features at your fingertips as well as options for modifying these elements after you add them to your spreadsheet. Let's take a closer look at this feature. First, I need to select the data I want to work with. After I make my selection, a Quick Analysis button appears in the lower right area of the selected data. When I click the button, I can choose from five data analysis tools. Formatting, Charts, Totals, Tables, and Sparklines. The Formatting option lets you apply conditional formatting to your spreadsheet. Conditional formatting adds colors or icons to the cells to indicate their relative values. When I point to data bars, Excel adds colored bars that match the values in the cells. Let's switch to the color scale. In this case, Excel colors the cells to match their relative values. Icon Sets assigns icons according to cell value. The Greater Than option colors cells that are greater than half the value of the largest number. This is an arbitrary number chosen by Excel that can be changed later. The Top 10% option adds background and text color to any cells that are in the top 10% of the values. And the Clear Formatting option clears all the formatting in the selected range. Next, let's click the Charts option in the Quick Analysis tool. Excel displays a selection of recommended charts to match the data. We can preview each recommended chart by simply pointing to each chart suggestion. If I'm not happy with the recommended charts, I can click on More Charts to see more options. Let's go ahead and cancel this and let's go back and create a chart. I'm going to select the clustered column chart. Notice that Excel places the chart on the spreadsheet with my data and adds three buttons in the upper right area of the chart that I can use to make changes. The plus button lets me select chart elements. The paintbrush lets me select a different chart style or a different chart color system. The Filter button lets me change the data on which the chart is based. For example, if I wanted this chart to show only the first three months, I could uncheck April, May, and June and then apply those changes. I can also use the Design and Format tabs on the Chart Tools ribbon to make other changes to the chart. For example, I can click the Move Chart button and move the chart to a separate sheet in the workbook. Let's go back to the spreadsheet and take a look at a few more options in the Quick Analysis tool. One is the ability to change the totals row to display other options. Currently my totals row is summing up the numbers in each column, but I can use the totals options to change it to averaging the numbers in each column, counting the cells in each column, showing the percentage that each column represents of the total sales, or displaying a running total in each column. The other options in totals allow me to change my totals column, which is in column H of this spreadsheet. Currently, I'm summing up each row in column H, but I could change that to display the average of each row, the count of each row, the percentage of the total of each row, or a running total for each row. Another option in the Quick Analysis tool is to convert my spreadsheet to a table. Converting it to a table means that Excel applies different colors to alternate rows, adds filter arrows to my header row, and makes it easy to add rows and columns to the table without having to manually format them. Tables also automatically add a name to the table and to each column in the table. The other option in the table group lets you create a blank pivot table on a separate sheet. Pivot tables are beyond the scope of this video, but please check out our other videos on our channel for help in working with pivot tables. Let's go back to our spreadsheet. 
The last option in the Quick Analysis tool lets us add sparklines to our spreadsheet. Sparklines are mini charts that appear in one cell. Before I do that, let's add a column to the spreadsheet. I'm going to select my data again, open the Quick Analysis tool, and select Sparklines. In this spreadsheet, I can add line sparklines, column sparklines, or win-loss sparklines. And that sums up the options available in the new Quick Analysis tool in Excel 2013.